Good morning, everyone. This is Jean, and I'm actually presentable today, but the hair is back up under here. I wear this because I'm just too damn lazy to actually do my uh, hair most of the time. Believe it or not, a thick mop of hair is hard to style, and, well, I'm no hairstylist. But anyway, um, I hope everybody is, is well uh, this morning. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the little video that I just posted. I actually have to try to upload it twice. A 30 second clip of me playing with my uh, cat, with RJ, and YouTube has trouble uploading this. It's amazing to me. Technology, everybody. The future. But anyway, uh, this is, will hopefully be another brief video, but yes, I'm again picking on Twitter and uh, comics Twitter, because why not? So, I have to actually thank Richard Pace because it's his timeline that showed me this. So, we have Mike Diodato Jr., right, and Richard Pace retweeted this. And Mike says, Comics Gate is a hate group, right? It's the same lie that we've been hearing uh, forever. And I've already given my opinions on it. Long story short, while I am not exactly a fan of everybody in Comics Gate, uh, they're not a hate group, right? Their actions show time and again that they're the furthest thing from a hate group, while it's the mainstream that keeps uh, acting in a hateful manner, just to summarize all that. You can check out my most recent videos uh, about all this to get more detailed opinions. But what's funny is that um, underneath, I don't know how Twitter works, so I'm just I'm just describing it. Underneath is, a, is like... Underneath uh, uh, Mike Diodato Jr.'s comment is, I guess, a tweet from Alana Smith. And Alana Smith says in her tweet, right, I think she's an editor or something at Marvel or something like that. I know I read a few books where she edited and all I could say, all I could think was literally shout, where the hell was the editor? Because no editing was done, otherwise the story would have been better. But anyway, she writes... They don't think, they being comics gay, don't think they're a hate group because they don't see harassment as hate. They see it as the logical earned consequence that marginalized creators should have to face for existing in the industry. They convince themselves it's not hateful to give us what we've earned. Well, here's the thing, Alana. You're right, but you're wrong, right? Comics gay, at least from best I can tell, is not harassing the mainstream industry. Now, yes, you know, Zach, Ethan, and others make videos about what you guys say and what you guys do and uh, what you put out, but that's not harassment, right? This statement right here is on a public forum. Twitter is a public forum. This is not a tweet that was privated or in other ways uh, hidden from, from the main public audience that someone has to, you know, uh, uh, hack the system and find. It's nothing like that. It wasn't a private statement. This is a public statement on a public social media forum. So yes, when you make public statements, especially ones that are insulting, asinine, or you know, otherwise just uncouth in one way or another, people are going to comment and people are going to comment negatively. People giving you business for saying something dumb is not harassment. See, here's the thing that frustrates me when people like Alana Smith use the word harassment. Uh, I've worked for 10 years now, actually 10 and a half years, as of this month, right? Uh, in the uh, New York City higher education system, right? And I've spent that time, those 10 plus years now, working in the compliance office, right? And uh, one of the many roles of the office I work in is that we take in uh, and, and we look into and respond to and conduct investigations of violations of policy, in particular violations of the policy against uh, discrimination and the uh, violations of policy against um, sexual misconduct. Now, of course, both non-discrimination and sexual misconduct are umbrella terms, right? They can be nearly anything, right? From very serious to very kind of minor or silly, right? But that's what, at least one of the functions that my office serves, right? That we look into these things if it fits 
with in the scope of the office, right? So I have I have assisted over the years uh, all of my supervisors, and I've had four. <laughs> I've had four supervisors, three of them attorneys, right? And I have assisted them all with looking into these things, right? I have seen evidence. I have sat in on interviews. I've taken notes. I know exactly what harassment is. Harassment is something like getting a hundred threatening calls from the same person in one hour. That is harassment. People telling you off online is mean, but it is not harassment. And this is what I can't stand about statements like this. Because they try to take something, it's, it's, it's literally making a mountain out of a molehill. Especially when it's a situation where they put themselves out there. You do work that is sold, right, to a public audience, right? Your work is reviewed by people in that audience, right? Zach, Ethan, and others, uh, others have every right to buy comics or read comics online or whatever and review them and give their opinions. They have every right if you make yourself available. Right? If there is some way to contact you directly, which Twitter uh, is one of those ways, to tell you, hey, this was a bad story. You didn't do your job. Right Now, are people who criticize you always um, kind about it? No. And sometimes people are just angry or mean and they're trolling you. Right? But there's a difference between bad behave behavior or less than professional Behavior, and I want to be clear. I'm not trying to in any way promote or say that the lack of lack of professionalism that certain people in comics gate have shown at times is good. It's not. I I believe that if you are on the side that says you know they need to be more professional, right? If you are comics gate and you're saying well one of the problems in the in the industry is that they lack professionalism and you are, are a professional creator yourself and then if you lack the same professionalism at times especially when you have a disagreement with somebody then yeah I do think that you're being a bit hypocritical in not practicing what you preach right and need to work on that but even then none of that is harassment so here's the thing it is the blowback and the and the clapback at the mainstream uh, um, uh, the mainstream industry gets is the logical earned consequence uh, that creators. She always throws in marginalized. No, 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 no. It isn't just about marginalized creators. Okay, Comics Gate will, generally speaking, will praise where it's worth praise, and they will criticize where it's worth criticism. Max didn't get heat from from Zach because Max is trans. Max got heat from Zach because Max made a bad comic. Now, should Zach have made fun of Max's appearance? No, he shouldn't have, and he even apologized for that. But they're never going to mention that, right? They're never going to mention that. They're never going to mention that Comics Gate likes the works of people like Frank Cho and Jay Lee and Christopher Priest and and uh, whatnot, right? And for example, Zach has mentioned several times that one of his favorite writers, especially back in the day in the 80s, is Anne Nocenti. She is noted for her run on uh, Dare, Daredevil back in the 70s and in the, and in the uh, uh, 80s, right? Zach has said s several times that when he first got into comics as a teenager, like in the mid-late 80s, right, he was reading X-Men and his favorite character on the X-Men was Storm, and Storm was the leader of the X-Men. So it isn't that Comicsgate goes after only marginalized creators. Comicsgate uh, does not care collectively as a group. They don't care whether you are a marginalized creator or not. If they think that you did good, they will tell you, tell you. and if they think that you suck, they will tell you even more. That's kind of how it works. Right, but then she says, uh, the consequence that creators should have to face for existing in the industry. It is the consequence that, that you have to live with for being in the industry. It's called criticism and feedback. How do you expect for your work to improve if you don't allow people to tell you what they think positively and negatively? And then she continues, then they convince themselves that it's not hateful to give us what we've earned. 
It's not. And the funny thing is that, again, right, right, the next tweet, right under this on Pace's Twitter, he retweeted from Kurt Belcher, who, who has now turned his Twitter name to Black Lives Matter, right? But now, right, right, right under this, this uh, tweet, tweet from Diodato and I guess Lana Smith again, I don't know how Twitter works, is this tweet from Kurt Belcher promoting the uh, book Always Punch Nazis by Ben Ferrari on Kickstarter. This is what they want you to donate money to. Kurt Belcher is promoting this. Richard, tweet, Richard Pace, by retweeting it, is promoting it. They want you to put your money toward a book that encourages you to hit people that you don't like, right? Because here's the thing, we already punched the Nazis many years ago. It was called World War II. Hitler shot himself, right? We already punched the Nazis, okay? We already have that cover of Captain America socking Hitler. This is, this is not about actually combating the actual like Nazi or, or neo-Nazi or white nationalism or anything of that sort. But those things still do exist. I'm not going to act, act like they don't. They're not as powerful socially as they once were, thank God. But they do still exist. So, so this isn't about actually routing out true neo-Nazis and true uh, white nationalists or, and or white supremacists. This is encouraging you to bah, 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 punch people who you personally who you personally do not agree with. This is their answer, right? They want peace through violence, right? If you don't agree with me, you're a Nazi, and you deserve to get punched. Well, um, don't try to hit me, because I'll hit back. But anyway, right? And then you have Diodato saying that Comicsgate's a hate group because Comicsgate is willing to criticize mainstream creators and Alana Smith is crying about it. Again, you're in the business of making a creative product. Naturally, people are, are going to respond and tell you what they think, positively or negatively. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The comic book industry is a terminally ill patient. It's dying, it cannot be saved. It may last a little longer than originally thought, but if this is how they're going to continue, then they can't be saved. And if it has to go, it has to go. And I've made peace with that because they keep doing it to themselves, right? As I, as I made a, a analogy recently in one of my videos, you know, they behave like somebody who is in the depths of, a, of, of an addiction, right? And when they're at the intervention, right, they view everybody there as, as an enemy, as someone trying to uh, attack them. Every, you know, sincere plea to straighten up, to clean up, to save their own life is met with criticism and disdain and distrust and a feeling of, you all hate me, you all hate me, you're all attacking me. Well, okay. If they want to stay in their addiction, <coughs> In their addiction of um, victim culture, it kind of reminds me of a, of a line from the song Zero by the Smashing Pumpkins. I think it goes something to the effect of, uh, intoxicated by the madness, I'm in love with my sadness. Something to that effect. It's been years since I've, since I've listened to the Smashing Pumpkins. But um, if that's what they want to do, if that's what they want to be, uh, okay. I have no problem watching the the ship sink because uh, I'm not on it. I'm not on it. If you want to destroy themselves, if mainstream comics collectively want to, want to, to destroy themselves, right, because they refuse to to reflect on themselves, right, they point at everybody else. It's comics fault. It's comics fault. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is going on outside? But anyway. They keep going, it's Comicsgate's fault, it's Comicsgate! 
right? But if, but if that's what they want to do, New York City. But if that's what they want to do, then hey, you know, I'll just be sitting back here observing. One moment. Hey, one second. Uh, observing as they fall. Anyway, I've got some family visiting, so uh, I need to end this video. So uh, have a good day, everybody. See you around. Bye.